Now, live from Whitney Media, 1460 WVOX, the Greenberg Report, with Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. You can join in the conversation at 914-636-0110. Now, on 1460 WVOX, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Hi, uh, I'm Paul Feiner. I'm uh, the Greenberg Town Supervisor, and um, Greenberg has a very active uh, business um, uh, district on East Harsdale Avenue, on on Central Avenue, and we have a relatively uh, new business um, um, on um, East Harsdale Avenue, on 13 East Harsdale Avenue, uh, near the Four Corners, um, and it's a fish store. Um, and um, with me as a special guest today are um, Graziella Rinaldos and Rob, um, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their new tropical fish store. Um, interior ocean designs, or as most people who visited call it, the aquarium, because that's easier to um, uh, to remember. And um, again, if you like fish, um, you may want to take down this number nine one four three zero three fish f i s h three four seven four. And they have um, work friendly evening hours. They're open from one thirty to eight p m. Uh, seven days a week. So um, thank you so much um, for joining us. And maybe I could ask um, both of you if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and um, why you love fish. Okay, Paul. Um, my name is Rob. I am the uh, Rob of Grace and Rob's on our business card. And I have a probably 30 to 35 year background in uh, tropical fish keeping. Uh, and like most of us, it started as an eight-year-old in our local fish store. Uh, interested to get interest, uh, develop interest in the hobby. Um, I suppose during the pandemic, uh, Grace and I had time to reflect since our work uh, at the time was shut down. And so I decided to rekindle my connection to the aquarium hobby and said, Grace, let's jump in the car and go fish shopping. Uh, this is, what, two years ago? And all of the stores I remembered were gone. It was very hard for us to find a place to get tropical fish. So uh, I said to Grace, um, Maybe we can uh, fill that void. Um, and so we did. There's um, like uh, pet stores and sometimes they sell you know, fish. Uh, what, what's the difference between, say, a, a more chain pet store and yours? Well, as far as I know, the, the chain stores seem to have a dedicated supply of, you know, the inventory they keep doesn't change too much. It's geared to the new hobbyist, and we, I, I'm personally more hands-on. I like to go to different warehouses and pick the specimens we put up for sale. And in so the there, higher quality fish. Well, I, so I hope, certainly hope the quality is better and the selection would be wider. Um, we generally carry hard to find types of fish uh, as well as beginner type fish. So we try to meet all the needs for, for uh, all the hobbyists that want to try different specimens maybe they've never seen. That's, that's great, we have to take uh, uh, our first break, this is the longest uh, break on the show, and I just want to remind our listeners that if you like fish, or you're looking for new tropical fish, um, they're at 13 East Harsdale Avenue, uh, um, uh, Interior Ocean Designs, or as they call it, the Aquarium, and the phone is 914-303-FISH, and we'll be back talking about uh, their business in, um, in a few minutes, uh, probably five minutes, so stay Stay tuned. I'm Paul Feiner, Greenberg Town Supervisor.
1460 WVOX. Now back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Good morning, I'm Paul Feiner, uh, Greenberg Town Supervisor, and we're um, highlighting one of our relatively new uh, businesses um, on East Tarsdale Avenue. It's a fish uh, store, a tropical uh, fish store, and my guests are... Um, uh, uh, Graziella Rinaldos and and Rob, and um, I wanted to um, ask um, um, you know Grace uh, during uh, the intermission. Uh, you mentioned that Rob is very modest uh, because he doesn't like, and we also and I thought this was really um, um, interesting. You said you'll never um, criticize a competitor, um, which it, which shows you're not in the political field because politicians always criticize the competition. Um, um, but could you tell us why you feel um, your um, um, aquarium um, store is, is special? Why would somebody, say, want to go to um, um, a small uh, fish store rather than, say, a, a typical, you know, larger chain? I'll, uh, the whole ambience of the store, even though it's small, I don't know, you get the feeling that you're by water. There's bubbles, there's, you know, your your eye just seems to go, like, in one direction, like, uh, through the store, you know, all levels of the fish, and, you know, the different, there's, like, uh, two, two levels of fish, right, that everything is built on, and you just see all the pretty colors and the bubbles, and, and your sorry. eye just goes, it just walks you through, you know, to... Through the whole store. It's do, you, do you find that it's, there's a calming influence, like if people are tense and they're near water and near fish, that it makes them, it's, it's therapeutic? Yes, yes. yes. And I've heard that, yeah. It's, so it, like yeah. if somebody's stressed with uh, life's challenges or their job or their health and they have um, tropical fish, it could make them feel better? Oh, it absolutely can be. You know, when we, we're in our 60s, and as 8- and 10-year-olds, we, we obviously didn't have internet, computers, cell phones, and all the, the uh, gadgets of today. So as kids, we all uh, competed to uh, show off our fish tanks to each other. Look at the new fish I got. It was a very intense hobby when we were growing up. Now, this, yeah, I was going to say that there's people like myself, you know, I had fish when I was growing up, and they didn't last. Yeah. And, I th and, you know, what, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Well, the, the one thing for sure, uh, the changes in the, the hobby are, uh, it's completely different methods of filtering, keeping water clarity and quality uh, higher than it was, as well as the shipping methods of where these fish come from. Now, I do not intend to be deceptive. Our name is Interior Ocean Designs, and when we opened the store, we were 100% marine specimens. And as folks walked in, uh, they were asking about lake fish, river fish, freshwater fish, and uh, I just got tired of saying we don't carry them. So we switched over, and especially due to the cost of shipping, the marine fish prices were not realistic for everyone, especially the younger uh, guys. So. We phased out the marine, we kept the name, and now we're uh, basically 100% freshwater, although we, we do have clients that we get special marine fish for. Um, but it, it, the sense that the children or the young folks are just too involved in the computers and the, the, the phones and the Facebooks uh, gave, also gave us 
the impetus to 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 bring the hobby back if if it it certainly seems to be less of an interest than when we were children and so and it's, it's no less interesting it's way more interesting than it ever was and we want to we, we want to bring that back and it is a stress reducer you know listening to the water and looking at the colors and seeing the fish each one is like a little little jewel a little a charm it, it it just brings your mind yeah you, know, you also sell uh, besides the fish uh, the uh, the equipment you know you know, and uh, what well, we we have a very limited dry goods section we only sell what we use and the one thing about our store is our methods are completely on display there's nothing hidden it's it's way less complicated than uh, people would think and so we we actually build our own aquarium several of them are on display uh we do have a 15 foot long uh 250 gallon tank uh, made out of wood and glass, and, and uh, so could people buy tanks from you also? No, no, we we can't compete with the chain stores for the average aquarium uh, th that people can buy. Certainly encourage the purchase from our competitors, but the livestock would be uh, well worth checking us out. And we, also, uh, if people. Um, you know, one of the advantages of going to a smaller business is you may get more attention and you seem uh, to be very, very passionate about the field and very knowledgeable about the field. So if they um, have questions or they're worried about a, a fish not eating or something, they could call you for advice, I guess. Absolutely, they can call anytime. I'll do everything I can to give the best answer as a person who has the, the time in the industry, actually spent 10 years in Hawaii collecting and exporting specimens. And so my whole business on that level depended on me, uh, quality right. specimens. Yeah, we're running out of time. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. And my guests um, are uh, the owners of uh, the aquarium or Interior Ocean Designs. They're located at 13 East Hartsdale Avenue in Hartsdale. I'm Paul Feiner. Now back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. I'm Paul Feiner. I'm the Greenberg uh, Town Supervisor, and um, we are very fortunate to interview Grace and Rob uh, Rinaldos, and um, they um, a new business, um, a relatively new business um, uh, that sells tropical fish, and they're located at 13 East Hartsdale Avenue in Hartsdale, right off Central Avenue, also close to the Four Corners in Hartsdale. And the Four Corners is a, is a difficult um, location for any business. Um, businesses have come and, and, and gone. What made you, um, um, and hopefully that will change, you know, that our goal is to make the Four Corners um, more vibrant and exciting. And we really appreciate the fact that um, you're um, giving our town a, a chance by having a quality business. What made you select the Four Corners? Well, uh, the honest answer is simply the rent. It is it, it, our industry is is based on importing, and the cost of shipping is just it, it's off the charts within the last two years, let alone in general. So. Having our, our location where it is helps keep the price down. We did have to phase out the marine fish part of it because simply of the price that we, we had to charge. Uh, in addition to the price, we have to pay. So it, it is a high visibility spot. You can't really miss us, um, but it's not 
on Central Avenue, but the cost of doing business on Cent- Central Avenue would would drive the cost of our specimens up uh, significantly. And so people do like get that. so it's a destination point. If people are looking for quality tropical uh, fish, um, and they park um, across the street or whatever, uh, they'll get a great a product and. It may be inconven- a little inconvenience that they'll have to walk uh, two seconds instead of one second. <laughs> but, um, but the thing is, they'll get a, a good quality uh, you know, product, and it will be affordable. At a, at a great price. So that, so that, is, um, that is great. Um, uh, now There is a park and lot C, a municipal right. park and lot C there that I don't know if people are familiar, but if they... Look on Google search. They yeah, there, there is a it. municipal lot across the street from the store. And East Hartsdale Avenue has um, a lot of apartments, so people... Uh, do, do you get a lot of customers who live on East Hartsdale Avenue? Not, not enough, but they, they tend to gravitate towards the Bronx River, uh, the main section of town. So there's more to do, sidewalk, uh, seating, and such. So, But, you know, if you have kids... We, what we did set up was a mud skipper display, one of our handmade aquariums, that the kids, the, the, they light up when they see these beautiful creatures sitting on the rocks, even though they're fish, and it has been, the response has been outstanding. So if you do have children and you do live in that section, Come and check us out. Your kids will never forget it. So if uh, you can't go to the Bronx Zoo... And it's really cold, and <laughs> or raining, or, or when it snows, you That's could go right. to uh, uh, your store on East Harsdale yeah. Avenue, and the the small kids will uh, really. Oh, it's enjoy nice it. and warm. It's a tropical environment, uh, so yeah. Or if you can't afford to go to the Caribbean, you could uh, <laughs> you could go to uh, uh, your store on East Har. It could be like the a substitute vacation. We have seating. We have music. We have. Uh, something for the kids. Uh, so there's a, many, many reasons to, to come and visit. Great. You know, what age uh, do most kids start uh, wanting to have their own fish? Well, at the, you know, not early enough uh, at this point, simply because the, the cost is not like it was when we were children. And... Um, People don't seem to have the time, the free time, to devote uh, to, to doing this type of thing. And we try to show that, uh, that that's really not an issue. We, you how, how much are usually, if it does say like if one, one of the tropical fishes costs, what's the range? Uh, well, we, we'll range anywhere from $2.50 to a really high quality little uh, schooling fish up to... We have something we sell for two hundred dollars, which is a a rare uh, South American specimens can bring that kind of money. But we try to stay between two and twelve dollars. We have a, a a very wide selection in that range. Right, and what's the average um, lifespan of a fish? Oh boy, uh, there's no reason why you couldn't get three or four years to seven or eight and even more. Uh, if you just uh, follow the, the little rules, which means don't overfeed, don't overlight. Uh, it's not as much maintenance as you would think. We'll show you what we do. You'll never catch me uh, sweating <laughs> and slaving over an aquarium. And do you get attached to your fish? I get attached to every single one of them. The, uh, every single one of them means something to me until they uh, they find a new home. Wow, yeah, that is great. Much, yeah. Which is really sort of nice. It's always nice to have a passion for your job and have a passion for your business. And it seems to me that this is almost like a hobby for you and you seem to just want to share your love for fish with, with others, which is probably as important to you as just the business. Yeah, if, if you have any doubts or... Uh, you think it's something uh, more than you want to get involved in? I'll tell you, it's it's living art. There's a place for it. Uh, 
in every home, anywhere from a little desktop uh, better bowl and, and small nano tanks that there's, there's a lot of passion for to something like what we designed, which is 15 feet long, and we, we've had uh, a few like that because we, we can't live without it. That, that's great. Uh, so are you generally pleased that you selected Hartsdale as your business as your location for your business? Very much so. Uh, it, it, th there's certainly uh, more a feel of uh, people like uh, a learning. To, they, they like to learn, uh, willing to experiment, take a few chances, and uh, find out that that it's it's easier than than you think, and we'll, we'll definitely hold uh, anyone's interest. Keep them off of that that nasty chat room stuff. And uh, the news is not so good at this point. You know, we're looking forward to all of that getting better too. But it's certainly uh, an alternative. For, for your own expression. Do you have a website? Or are you thinking of having a website? Uh, we're, we're being in our 60s? Uh, no, we, we don't really. <laughs> kind of not, not, not in tune enough Google, with the technology. Or, you know, but not a regular I, website. You know, well, one no, of the, we're not like a... But you, you can know, Google us. Last uh, year, uh, the town worked out an initiative with um, some schools. Um, and we had students volunteer their time and helping use technology to promote businesses. Um, so is that something that you'd be interested in? And we didn't even charge, you know, we did it as, you know, because I'm thinking that that might be a, a, a nice thing to do for yeah, some folks. That's something, I mean, someone told me that that was my, you know, that, that was our, you know, Failing? website, but it's like sites, <laughs> Google, website. Google Business, not, but it's not really a website. No, it's like, because right yeah, now. Yeah, so that would be something. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to write that down. That would be um, really nice. Yeah. Help um, businesses. I'm writing it down. We we are on uh, something called Google Maps. If you enter uh, what interior ocean designs into your computer, we'll show up. So we're, we're right, but it, it but was it's called not, business it's, Google Business Profile, and it just changed now to. Google search right. and Google but Maps. You, that's you know, the, what you really need, I think, you know, is um, is some help in terms of getting the message out. Because, because you know, there's thousands of cars that pass East Tarsdale Avenue uh, a day. Yes. But the thing is, how, how do you publicize your business? Uh, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Well, you know, we, we've, we've spent the, the nine months or so we've been open in developing the store, so the, the the focus has been on our own appearance and 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 uh, and, and health of, of our of specimens. Now that we're kind of where we want to be, we can start thinking about how do we let anyone else know that we're right. there, and uh, so we're going to be learning that. Great. So uh, maybe that's a, an initiative that the town could help, you know, or I could get volunteers or whatever, you know, to help and um, and help spread the word, because we really want your business to be successful. And um, yeah, be grateful. Yes, yeah. Thank the, you. Now you gave me a new cause in life. Oh well, uh, the, we're the, not the, proud. We know our limitations, and uh, well, you know, it's always good to know limitations. That's the first <laughs> first step. But you definitely have the passion. And you definitely have the love for the fish, and you have a lot of the the qualities that make a great business. And now, the goal is: what could you do to uh, even reach more people? So I'm Paul Fine, a Greenberg Town Supervisor, and we're talking about a fish store on 13 East Tarsdale Avenue, the Interior Ocean Designs. I'm Paul Finer. Now, back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Hi, I'm Paul Feiner. I'm uh, the Greenberg uh, Town Supervisor. And um, 
we have a very interesting um, program. Um, our guest is Graziella uh, Rinaldos and, and Rob, and they have a fish store uh, at 13 East Hartsdale Avenue in Hartsdale. And if you're looking for quality fish, um, there are business that you might want to um, um, uh, check out. And there's ample parking across the street from their, uh, their, uh, their store. We have a, the parking authority. Um, it's right uh, near the Four Corners. Uh, if you're taking the Hartsdale, um, the train to the Hartsdale train station, um, it's a six or seven minute walk uh, to, uh, towards uh, you know, Central Avenue. And um, I thought, you know, we could mention, um, you know, and I, I wanted to also highlight the fact that what impresses me about them is their passion for the, uh, the fish. And it's sort of a, a love of, um, of each of the fish that they, uh, they sell and um, a great knowledge about the fish. Um, so when we talk about the quality, the optimum fish quality, um, you have African lake, uh, uh, what is it called, chicklets? Chicklets. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Um, what makes them special? Um, they're, they're a very hardy uh, family of fishes that have a wide color range, uh, tolerant of, of a lot of water conditions, and... Uh, they're unique to that uh, part of the world, and there's a, a few different lakes out there. It make them almost look like uh, landlocked marine fish. It may very well be uh, how that they developed their shapes and colors. Uh, and there are a lot of people uh, interested in that, and we, we carry them. Yeah. You know, that is... Uh, uh, you know that that is um, you know, great. Uh, is it an expensive fish? No, no. One of one of the things why I, I give a lot of credit to the hobbyists out there is that they have been uh, bred here uh, in the southern part of the United States, all over the country, really, uh, for quite a while now, and that makes the cost of uh, importing them very reasonable. So. Uh, Again, that that's another factor in, in uh, the fact that they're very reasonable. Uh, what what other fish do you um, uh, do you sell? Ooh, well, uh, South America is a great source. It's the nearest uh, source for tropical fish to to this country. Um, India, Taiwan, and uh, Thailand. Uh, places that uh, make great progress in, in developing uh, new varieties of fish we all know. Uh, so that's another region that we get from. Um, and as well as uh, we, we, we have a, a nice variety of uh, live plants that you can uh, work with and uh, what they call hardscaping, uh, stones, driftwoods, and uh, natural foods, uh, which uh, very play a very critical role in, in the health and color of the fish. You know, we have that. That is, um, you know, you know that is, um, you know, really, um, you know, really great. Um, in terms of. Um, the ages you mentioned, you know, small kids. Are there fish that are better for small kids and uh, you know, more yeah. age appropriate fish? Yeah, we, we, we don't want. Uh, the discus is a name people are familiar with, a very specialized uh, type of fish, of course, beautifully colored, uh, but it's not for everyone, and uh, we don't want the kids to see the fish uh, suffering and so uh we 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 gotta know where people are at and can point them towards uh a longer longer living 
uh, easier to keep fish. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but um, do fish have personality? <laughs> like, did you, uh, do, could you, do you, uh, when you are around fish all the time and you're looking at the aquarium, could you, do they have different personalities besides just swimming? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there can be a pecking order uh, or an hierarchy, is that the right word? In any aquarium, uh, someone's going to dominate, but in, fish can range from totally peaceful to very aggressive. And so uh, we, we know where people are at. And those with kids, we want really totally peaceful uh, type fish that will really tolerate each other's presence. That is, um, uh, you know, that is, um, uh, you know, really, you know, really fabulous. Um, so um, what, what is next for your, um, you know, for your business, would you think? Oh, well, we're just pretty much reinvesting uh, whatever we sell and uh, into expanding. Since we're limited, we're limited in size. It's, it's, and, and the only thing we can do is to uh, squeeze in a tank here and there, wherever we could, fill in the, fill in the missing pieces and uh, expand our, our inventory. Um, what, you know, as a town supervisor, you know, we have like a lot of um, a business, a number of businesses. What could the town of Greenberg or what, could, what, what role could government play that could help small businesses that we're not doing? Ooh. If anything. Oh, uh, Or, you uh, know, uh, did you have any criticisms? Uh, and, you know, I don't mind you. Objecting. No, no, I, I, I never, I mean, I, I think we're limited to the signage uh, we're allowed to, to use to advertise our presence on the street to those so the cost. signage is really a problem right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We, well, we have a very small sidewalk, so we can't put a anything right. out there. Uh, but I'm not. I, you know, I, I, that's that came with the territory. So, uh, it ne never no occurred to me that government or, or local. Uh, uh, Law ha had anything to do with right. what we're doing. We, we never thought about it uh, to help right. us. Sir, well, you us. seem uh, to be like an easy person to get along with. Um, yeah. You're not like some of my other constituents who <laughs> yell and scream. Um, but, uh, but you know, but you have a good attitude where you're you seem like positive people um, and upbeat. Um, but if there's you know ideas that you have um, in the future as to ways you know I could do a better job of promoting local businesses I hope you would feel free to call me oh how you can do it but Paul you've been fantastic since we were uh, advised to, to contact you um, the, the town of Greenberg the town uh, where we had to go for our permits and such we're all as helpful as can be I, I have no no issue uh, with with the, the local. Uh, Good. Now, now I'll, I'll make sure that people listen to this show, uh, <laughs> uh, since I'm being complimented. But, well, um, I, I, but I mean that. But uh, again, we mean that. We really appreciate the fact that you've um, you're located in Hartsdale. I Want to wish you great success, and um, want to let our um, audience know that. Uh, this is a new tropical fish store, Interior Ocean Designs, or um, as they like it, uh, the aquarium. And they're open. You're open from 1:30 to 8 p.m. every day of uh, the week, seven days a week. So you, you must get very little uh, sleep. Well, I think we're going to uh, take a, a break for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So <laughs> uh, we, we will pick our spots uh, when to get a free uh, stay home and with the family. Great. So I'm Paul Fine, a Greenberg Town Supervisor, and thank you. Thank you. See everybody next week.